So we've got this uh, new nozzle design here. Um, as you can see, it's pretty much identical to the last ones. All I've done is made a bit of a modification up the front there um, just to take a different nozzle, just extended the threads out and put a little retainer cap on there. Um, and effectively, I just wanted to do some testing of different nozzle shapes, um, things that were easy to get a hold of. Um, so I've got a different ceramic in there, just modified the design. All the internals are exactly the same as the old gun. Um, it just sticks out a little bit further. Um, but putting it on, it seems to flow really, really nicely. Um, we get a lot of water out of there, a lot of fluid, a lot of slurry. Um, and it seems to work quite efficiently, especially since we're just using um, this crappy little twin cylinder uh, three horsepower compressor. That's just the 3 8 hose, 10 mil hose. Um, but yeah, it's slightly different. Um, and just that additional flow profile on it seems to be doing quite nicely for conservation of air um, and also the finish it'll bring up so I'll just hand this off um, and fire that in and just show you how quickly it works uh, maybe a little difficult to see being a bow housing it sort of springs back a lot but um, hopefully you get an idea You can see how quickly it's pulled that off. I just sort of give it another quick run over um, just to bring up that shine. You can probably see in the cabinet it's still got all the all the film on, protective film on. But you can see that quite clearly. That's come up really nice, really quick. We'll just do another another section here go through this part you see there it brings off a lot of the dirt and the crud quite quickly so you can get a sort of semi decent finish on it really fast then you just want to go over and spend a little bit more time on there The other thing I've done is this cabinet now has the uprated agitation system on it that's been supplied in all the conversion kits. Um, so I think that's probably also having a bit of an effect, but this setup's been run both with the original guns, the brass ones, and with the, the 3D printed hybrid guns. So the difference here with this one is just that it's got that different shaped nozzle on it, and it's a little bit, little bit longer. Let me just wash that off. So that's polishing up quite quickly as well. Um, and like I say, that's all done with that small compressor. So I think this is probably maybe twice as fast as the old type. Um, it may be partially to do with the setup, but I have run that old type in these cabinets and these ones so far, I mean I'm going to have to do some more testing, but so far seem to be pretty good. Um, we'll just quickly pull that out of the cabinet, wash down that door. To drip everywhere. Just come down there on the light. So that's come up really nice, really quickly. Um, and it seems to be that additional flow through that nozzle, just that different nozzle shape. Like I say, everything else on the gun is absolutely identical. I've literally just changed the way that the retainer works on it so we can use that different ceramic. And um, it seems to be working sort of, like I say, probably twice as fast. Um, and it's also a more uniform coverage. So we'll do a little bit more testing and um, if it works out, I might change the design of that and we'll go with that gun instead. As always, thanks for watching.